Today's quick coding tip explains what non-essential modifiers are and how they are used for correct code assignment. My name is Claire and I'm an inpatient coding auditor. In my coding tips and tricks videos, you'll discover valuable insights to help sharpen your medical coding skills and code with confidence. Parentheses are used in both the alphabetic index and tabular list to enclose supplementary words that may or may not be present in the diagnostic statement. The terms within these parentheses are called non-essential modifiers and do not affect code assignment for the condition assigned to that code. It is not essential for the term to be present in clinical documentation for the pathway to be followed. For example, when coding a diagnosis of retained placenta, the term with hemorrhage is enclosed in parentheses, making it a non-essential modifier for this condition. This means that the physician does not need to specifically document the presence of bleeding for third stage hemorrhage to be assigned. Non-essential modifiers are useful to help determine that you've arrived at the correct code when the physician has documented an alternate term or more information for the condition than is found in the code description. So for example, taking a diagnosis of pneumococcal appendicitis. When we look at the main term appendicitis, we see that pneumococcal is in parentheses and is a non-essential modifier for appendicitis. This tells us that we've got the right code for this diagnosis, even though the code title itself doesn't mention pneumococcal, because of the non-essential modifier, we know that pneumococcal appendicitis is included in code K37 unspecified appendicitis. Non-essential modifiers also help you to identify what is included in the code assignment for that particular condition. For instance, if a patient is diagnosed with rectal bleeding caused by hemorrhoids, Looking at the main term hemorrhoids, we see that bleeding is enclosed in parentheses and so is a non-essential modifier for this specific condition, meaning it's already included in the code assignment for the hemorrhoids and there's no need for an extra code to capture the bleeding. When looking up a code in the alphabetic index, non-essential modifiers that are placed next to a main term apply to both the main term and all of its subterms. Let's take a look at the main term colitis as an example. We can see that hemorrhagic is a non-essential modifier, which means that if the patient experiences bleeding caused by colitis, the bleeding is included in the code assignment. This rule also applies to all the specific types of colitis listed as subterms under the main term. So for instance, if a patient is diagnosed with GI bleeding due to ischemic colitis, we would only, assign, only need to assign code K559 there's no need for an additional code specifically for the GI bleed. So that's it for today's quick tip. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. If there's any topics that you would like me to cover in the future, just leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy coding.